This will be a short demonstration on how to backup, copy, or move an iTunes library into a portable hard drive or another computer. Hi, I'm John. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to copy your iTunes music library to a portable storage device and then from that load it up onto a second computer. In order to do this, I first need to know where the iTunes library is. So I need to start iTunes. So I'm going to go down to the bottom left of the screen, click on the Windows Start icon, then load iTunes. Every once in a while you get the iTunes software license agreement and you need to agree with it or we're not going any further. So this is my iTunes library. I want to load up the menu bar so I'm going to show it. And in the menu bar I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to preferences. So what I'm trying to do is find the location of my iTunes library. In general preferences I'm going to go click on the advanced icon and this is showing me my iTunes media folder location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that location using the left mouse button I'm going to highlight all of the script and then go control C. Another method of doing that is right clicking the mouse and then go copy. Both do exactly the same thing. It stores the information into the Windows clipboard. Now that I'm what I want out of iTunes, I'm going to close the advanced preferences window and turn off iTunes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into my computer. In the computer address bar, I'm going to now click on it, and then I'm going to go control V, or paste, and then enter. So this is my iTunes library. What I want to do is I want to just go into my music. You'll see here, this is the folder that I want to copy. Before I copy it, I need to find out a little bit of information about this particular folder. What I'll do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to properties. This is telling me that I've got 12.5 gigabytes in this particular folder. So the storage device that I have or wish to put this folder into has got to have at least 12.5 gigabytes free. So I'm going to go cancel and then again I'm going to go control C. Or I can right click and go copy. So now I'm going to go back to my computer. In my computer I've got a portable hard drive. I'm going to click on it and then I've already created a folder called iTunes Music Backup. So I'll double click on it and then I'm going to go Control V. So it's going to sit here and it's going to transfer everything from the clipboard into this backup file folder. Once this is done I can then copy this folder into my second computer. Now that I have the iTunes library stored in the portable hard drive, I can now copy this into the old laptop that I wish to use. Let's start iTunes. From the menu bar, go to Edit and then select Preferences. With the General Preferences window open, select the Advanced icon. Just like we did before, we are going to copy the media folder location into the Windows clipboard. So we'll use the left mouse button, select the entire script. You can right click and copy or you can just simply go control C. Now we need to start up my computer and check to make sure that the iTunes library in this particular computer uh, does not have any information that we want. Select the computer address bar. Now what we can do is we can right click and go paste or just simply go control V as we did originally when I showed you how to copy this information. Now I have to make a decision. I see that there is something in my iTunes library in this old computer. So do I want it or do I want to just simply erase it? If I want to keep it then we'll copy the information into the portable hard drive and once we've done that we will erase the contents of this library. Now select the iTunes file folder. Right click and then select delete. Computer is making sure that I really want to get rid of this folder and send it to the recycle bin. 
Since I already know that I don't want it, I'm going to select Yes. Once the iTunes media folder has been deleted, what you can do is minimize this screen so that it takes up about half the space on your computer monitor. Plug in your portable hard drive into a USB port. Then, on this old computer, what we're going to do is go to My Computer and select the portable hard drive. On the second My Computer window, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize it and let it take up half of the screen also. In your portable hard drive, go to the location of your backup folder for the iTunes library from the first computer. Now right click on your backup folder and select copy. Or you can just simply click on the iTunes folder and drag it over into the left screen where we want to copy it into the new computer. Since I use the copy command on the right window, I'm going to move my mouse over to the left window where I want to copy the file folder, right click, and then select paste. Now the computer will spend a bit of time copying the folders and files from the portable hard drive into the second computer. Once the computer has finished copying all the folders and files from the portable hard drive, you can start up iTunes and you'll see exactly the same music library as we copied from the original computer. Now we have a backup copy on the second computer ready to use whenever we want. In my case, it'll be out in the shop. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to johnansons.com. Click on the link below.